Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on video. It means a lot if you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And today we have the second tribe that we're, we're going to go through. We're going to go through this whole tribe. If you haven't seen part one, go back and check that out where I did this entire video, but for, for the Ua tribe. And now we're, we're doing it for the much more physically dominant Luvu tribe. So for the Luvu tribe, we have Danny, Deshaun, Nasir, Erica, Heather, and Sydney. That's the, the, the tribe that we're dealing with. If, if, if you don't know how, how this works, we're, we're going to go through each person, show each of their little one-minute interview that they did, uh, like the little pregame interview, and then I'm, I'm going to talk about it. So we'll, we'll really get to know everyone on this tribe and then uh, towards the back half of the, of the video i'll talk about what i, I think is going to happen with the tribe what i, I think that their, their, their strengths and weaknesses are how i, I think that they're, they're going to do the game and whether i, I think that the winner is going to come from their tribe 70 percent of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed let's change that it's easy and it's free and if that's it let's get right into this video guys i'm so excited all right, so the first person on the Lu Vu tribe is Danny. We all love Danny, and here is Danny's one-minute little interview video. I'm Danny. I'm a former NFL player, and I'm from Houston, Texas. I wouldn't say my life was bad. It was a little tough. My dad died when I was eight, so it forced me to become the man of the house, and my mom did a lot of working, and she had to become the, the breadwinner for the family. So I literally mean I'm a survivor, one, not just because of football to where I was an undrafted free agent. It was six years of, of not knowing what the next day would bring and just fighting to, to stay on the team. My entire life, I've been having to outwork everyone else just to get a shot. And then when you get a shot, you have to maximize that opportunity. In order to be the sole survivor, you have to be willing to do things that other people won't do. It's no sleep. It's no sleep on the island. You can't have any idle time. You have to take advantage of each minute of each day. So anytime I'm able to, to be searching for something or trying to form an alliance or create a relationship, I'm going to be working that out. My God, this just confirmed for me why I have Danny, spoiler alert, as my winner pick for this season. I love Danny. Danny has this like, okay, no, it's, it's not the talk. It's very, 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 very similar to a car, but in a more like calmer way where he has this, okay, no, 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 there's no talking. There's no, there's no speculating. Let's go out and do this. Let's go out and play. And I love his line about not sleeping because that, 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 that gives me good flashbacks to uh tony from from last season where obviously that that works nowadays you know like he, he's like I'm, I'm gonna be out searching for something great 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 searching for is always good as long as you as you, as you have your bonds first and obviously he, he had said after that but and, and if i can make a bond i'll, I'll go do that in my free time I, there's no idle time on this island i love that line and i, I love his active approach to the game where there, there is no off time for him and he's always firing on all cylinders all right, next we have Deshaun. Here's his one minute video. My name is Deshaun Radin. I'm 25 years old. I grew up in San Bernardino, California, and I'm currently a podiatric medical student. Being out here feels surreal, man. I mean, there was a point when I didn't think that this would happen. You know, I was casted last year in January, and then COVID came in and kind of took all of our lunch money and said, sit down, you're not doing nothing for a year. And so I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and now I'm here and it feels like all of my dreams have become reality. I've done so many great things in life. Like I have a master's degree, a bachelor's degree, I'm working on a doctorate, but this takes the cake. Like I feel elated to be here. There's no other word to describe it. My strategy coming into this game is gonna be to use my social charm. I know that I'm somebody that people like to be around, so I'm gonna use that as a front, but behind the scenes, I'm gonna be running a muck. It's gonna be crazy, and I don't think they're gonna be ready for it. I think that they won't figure it out until I'm being handed my million dollar check. All right, so Deshaun for me, immediately I think Jamal, but I think he's a better player than Jamal is. Uh, although I don't think he's good enough to, to have a serious shot at winning. He's, he's not like in, in a Ricard or a Danny or a Jairus uh, situation where I think he has a genuinely really, really good shot at winning the game. Um, but I, I do think Deshaun has this 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 feeling about him where where he could he, he has a chance of winning the game like a pretty good chance. Uh, he he's, he intends to use his social game, which obviously in the end so, so, social game always wins over a, anything else. And so I feel like he he understands his strengths and his weak weaknesses. And I, I I like him overall as a character. He seems kind of multi level, like not just a villain, not just a hero. And I'm really in, in, interested to see how, how his gameplay is and, and how he is a, as a player overall. Next is Nasir. We all love Nasir. Let's see what Nasir has to say in this one minute video. I'm Nasir. I'm from San Jose and I'm 36 years old. Uh, I'm a group sales manager. I work for uh, a, one of the leading hotels in uh, Silicon Valley. 
I grew up in Sri Lanka in a tiny village with no running water, no electricity, or our toilet was just a hole outside in the ground. So I was the kid that half naked, wearing a shirt, putting a slingshot around my neck, and holding a pocket knife, running around, going fishing, going hunting on using slingshot. And I was the happiest kid over there. I will contribute to my tribe. Of course, I will be the biggest provider of the team. So I love fishing, love climbing trees, cooking rice and coconut. I'm a hard worker. You see that, right? So if I get to final three, my authenticity and my story will win the million dollars. What a great guy. I mean, how, how can you not like Nasir? Um, but yeah, overall, with Nasir, he's just such a great guy. Uh, I think he'll be a fantastic character, your, your, your stereotypical hero. I have a feeling he's probably going to be booted out around five, maybe six-ish, because they don't want him to, to get to f Final Four, because then he, he can win fire making and just get right, right to the f Final Three and, and win the season. I think he's all story with a teeny bit of game, but not nearly as much game as any any um, all the other players that are on his level of like my my favorites. So he's out of all, all my favorites. He's the only one who really doesn't have much game to him. But I'm okay with that because he, he's on here for me, at least it like from my uh, perspective to, to be a character. And that's it. All right. Erica does not have a video out yet as of filming this. Um, but I think overall with Erica, you, you can look her up her whole her whole. She has a whole bio email, I believe. She has some some audio out about her, but I, she doesn't have like a full well, one minute video to devoted to her. So I'll I'll, just, I'll talk to her for I'll talk about her for a bit. I don't have much confidence in Erica. Uh, I think she's a decent player. She obviously has seen seen a few seasons. She's pretty passionate about the game, and she has like some of that social charm. And she's not uh, like a huge threat. But I have a feeling she's just not going to be very good at socially like really making strong bonds, like having like that number one. And if she is, she'll she'll be like the 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 Steven to somebody else's JT, if, if you will. Like she, she'll be like the second in, in command. Like wherever she is, which is not the best. Um, and I think overall, she's she she has no respect from anyone if, if she gets to the end on the jury. That that's just how I feel. Like looking at it, obviously it's all speculation. I have a lot of people who disagree with me on on that, but that's just how I feel with, about that. So yeah, that's uh that that's Erica. All right, next is the mom. It's Heather. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, my name is Heather and I am from Charleston, South Carolina. I am currently a stay-at-home mom and I want to be the oldest woman to win Survivor. I think going in with the wisdom that I have at 52, that's going to be an advantage because you kind of know what not to rock and to trust your intuition. When I was on the roller derby team, you had this persona. It's like something happened when you put those skates on. My name is Heather Aldrin and I'm Boom Boom Bell. And I want to go into Survivor with that same gusto. I'm the type, I don't quit. I don't quit. It's like the little engine that could, that just kept on going, no matter what. I'm going to keep on going no matter what. I can make fire. I can forage. I know how to crab. I know how to use a fishing net. I know how to fish. My dad's name's Bubba. I mean, come on. I know how to do some stuff. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, that is your third place finisher with zero votes in the final tribal who everybody ignores. Um, no, <laughs> no, like, but that, that's generally how I feel about Heather. I think she's a really nice lady. I think she'll have a really nice story, she, she, but I think she'll be just like a Julie in the Ed, 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 Edge of Extinction where she has a, an emotionally sort of hard time uh, and she ends up coming out like, you know, feeling stronger and trying to prove to her family this and that. Uh, and she's and she ends up doing that, and that's her arc. Not that she gets any votes at the end, not that she really has m much of a social game, but just that she kind of, you know, has this uh, I'm a strong mom type of arc. I, I think that's, that's what we're going to get from Heather, but I, I like Heather as a person overall, for sure. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm 25. I'm a law student from Los Angeles, but I currently live in New York. I would describe myself as a very confident, candid, sexy individual. My confidence is definitely nature and nurture. Things did come easier to me. I do think I'm naturally athletic. And then also my parents just nurse this ego from the moment I was born. Like I was their first child. I'm the only daughter and I set the bar really high. I think pre-merge I want to focus more on the base and the base being building strong relationships. And then once I kind of establish where everybody else is going, I'm so dynamic I can go anywhere. But my basic strategy is see tomorrow because everyone's looking to the end of the game but you can't get there without getting to tomorrow so if that means lying then I lie I'll deal with the repercussions later
And there's our villain, guys. This is our Angelina of the season, though. Uh, but no, but seriously, I, I think I think this is like our, your perfect like. Oh, she was born and raised with like a silver spoon. She's privileged, this and that, and like she's gonna be like super snarky. I feel like David was cast as as, as the, the male villain, and she was cast as the female villain. It's not even close. I think that that's what production at least expects that for uh, from them coming into the season. Obviously, we we have no idea how it really ends up, but I feel like overall. Um, she's definitely our villain, and I, I don't think she has much game to her because she doesn't seem to, to be able to relate to people or really form a social bond because of her snarkiness and kind of uh, egotisticalness. And it's probably it's gonna be you know su 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 super fun to watch. Um, but as a player, I, I don't I don't think it's gonna benefit her at all to be very like snarky and egotistical and have a lot of hubris going into the game. And so that's all of these players from a personal standpoint. Now, how I think that they're going to do overall as a tribe. So Luvu, I think they're not going to lose any uh, immunity challenges. And I think, um, obviously, I've predicted in, in in the last video that I think that U Ua is going to lose every challenge or or possibly Yase. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Ua just because I, I have a gut about it. Um, leaving Luvu, Luvu to not lose any, any challenges in, until the, the two from, from the tribe that loses all of them dissolve. And then from there, I think Uwa's going to have a... a, a and then I, I think that they're, they're going to have a double tribal where both uh, Luvu and who, 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 whichever tribe is left has like a... They they uh, both go to, to tribal council. And if that's the case, I think Luvu's going to have to go at, at once. And I think in, in that tribal, they're actually going to vote out... I'm going to go with Erica just because just I feel like I have no faith in Erica as far as like... I feel like they're, they're going to look at it and say, okay, it's either, you know, Erica or it's Heather. I feel like they're 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 gonna think Heather's not a threat. We can drag her into the end. She's a goat, and as I said, a really easy you know no vote for, for finalist you know third uh, place finisher. Why don't we just take out Erica? I think I think that's their their uh, what their mo mindset's gonna be, and that's just how I personally feel about this whole overall tribe as, as a whole. Uh, obviously, I I do I do think that the, the winner is gonna come from this tribe and Danny. I feel like this tribe when when it gets to the merge, it's gonna have to not have Yase and Ua combined because if that's the case even if they get to merge with five people and, and, and they merge at 11 if everyone else just you know like if all, all if the two Uas and then the, the Yases that are left or whoever's left after that like little dissolvation you know at, at the merge that they're all going to team up together even if, if they merge at 11 or 12 and just pick all all of the, the, the Luvus off and so Luvus either need to be okay with that and just avoid getting picked off like complete Pagong and instead like you know get like a, a few blind sides going back and forth like in Kageyama where it was like back and forth back and forth uh um and avoid being like Matt or, or sorry like Tandang like in, in Philippines when they just got Tandang out one by one by one by one um or they need to flip some of the Uwas over to their side and then get, and get off the Yases which I feel like it's gonna be a, a tale as to is Luvu gonna go out or is the tribe that doesn't get like um, Matt a singed whether that's Ua or Yase are they going to get taken out one by one by one? Obviously, it's usually it doesn't happen as a Pagong nowadays because of Modern Survivor and it being more flips and more fluid gameplay. But you just never know. And I feel like that's the the, the, the sentence to end on for, for this video. Is you just never know what, what's going to happen, especially in a big season like this season in Survivor 41. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, thank you, Skylander, Sky, Sky for make, make, make my thumbnails and keep these s suggestions coming for the videos. So I'll, I'll do most of your suggestions. Thank you guys so much for, for continuing to, to support me, liking, commenting, sharing. No, no, notification is the most important thing in the entire world. Keep that thing on. If you're new here, welcome to the family. If that's it. I will talk to you guys later with the, is it Yase? Yes, the Yase tri uh, tribe version of, of this video. Talk to you guys later.